We're going to begin with Harvey Weinstein, who was found guilty by a New York jury today of third degree rape and a criminal sexual act. He was acquitted of the more serious charges of predatory sexual assault and first degree rape, but now will be facing up to 29 years in prison on the two charges. Zuri has two women that are greatly impacted by today's decision. That's right, Mario. I'm joined by two survivors who have both bravely shared their stories about Weinstein, reporter Lauren Savan and actress Caitlin Dulaney. Thank you so much for sitting down with us. Um, obviously, this is big news developing. Where were you when you found out about today's verdict? I was just sort of um, starting my day, going out to get some coffee. I really didn't think this would happen so soon. And all of a mm. sudden, my phone blew up. And the first thing I wanted to know, people say, was what, what were the ver like what, what was what were the verdicts on yeah. all of the charges? And someone texted me, and I, I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. Really? Yeah, I couldn't believe it. And well, then the day started, and <laughs> the day begins. Yes, exactly. and then the day begins. It's like a new dawn. Yeah. It felt like a new, a new era and a new dawn. Would you say the same? What were those emotions yeah. like for you? Um, you know, I, I haven't been able to sleep. I know we've spoken about <laughs> yeah. being mm -hmm. so on edge for the last week while the jury deliberated because yeah. there was such a real possibility that he could skate on these charges and he would walk. Um, and so I, I was kind of bracing myself for the worst. So mm -hmm. today was a, a huge victory. The, yeah. the fact that he's spending the night in jail um, is, is incredible. Now, District Attorney Van said in part, this is the new landscape for survivors of sexual assault in America. This is a new day. How does that impact you? What does that make you feel to know It impacts that? all of truth. us. Yeah. yeah, it impacts all of us. I mean, this shows that um, you can no longer just shame the victims. That's no longer part of your defense. That's not going to work anymore. And, and hopefully it'll show that that it's worth it to come forward, that change is going to happen. Because those six women who testified, I'm, that we owe them such a huge debt of gratitude. That was so hard and so yeah. brave. It was, yeah. And it could have been a very different day. Yeah. And that's what we were worried about. And we're, you know, we're close. And many of us are close. And we talked about that all weekend. It was hard to get off of this idea that he would, he would be found not guilty. And mm -hmm. then survivors would be afraid of speaking out in the future. And we would be set back. Mm -hmm. So it does feel like an, a new day, and it does feel like survivors have, you know, will have faith to, to speak out. Right, and you mentioned the fact that you're, you're in touch with many of the women, yeah. many of the survivors. What has the energy been like? What have those exchanges been like? How are the silence breakers doing? Just in general, <laughs> obviously today with big news, but throughout this journey, I would imagine you leaning on each other has been really important. Yeah. It's been rough. It's been rough for, for so, so many of us and um, everybody has, you know, different stories and different things going on in their lives. And so this was something that we were all uh, could, could lean on each other because it's, it's difficult. People don't understand exactly what it feels like to wait for a verdict like this except right. for each other. So yeah. I was really grateful to have that support system. Yeah, me too. We leaned on each other a lot, a lot of texting and a lot of talking over the phone and really a lot of sort of like going over the charges and what the possible outcomes would be, I th would be, I think, I, we spent hours talking about that this yeah. weekend, but the support and understanding what each other was going through and speaking was of so helpful. Charges, you mentioned, yes. and, um, and, you know, possible outcomes. Currently, Weinstein is facing up to 29 years in prison on these two charges. However, it seems like we're just getting started here. He still faces right. charges, of course, in Los Angeles. So do you feel like this is just the beginning? I do feel like it's just the beginning, and the Los Angeles trial will be different. The laws are different here. There's, there's more room. I think there's two statutes, right, that yeah. um, they can bring prior, prior bad act witnesses in on versus one statute in New York. It's a lot stricter in New York. So I have a feeling you will be seeing more of us on the stand, you know, and, and again, I just want to thank the, the women that did take the stand in this trial. They were so brave. Ladies, thank you both so much. Thank you. Now, Weinstein has denied all claims of non-consensual sex, and today his attorney said while he was not convicted on the most serious charges, we are disappointed in the verdict and will be filing an appeal.